What's up with y'all, man? You know what it is. Battle Rap True. Greatest of all time. Got your bitch making my ball shine, man. I got some secret shit for y'all. That's not called a secret. Because it's, you know what I'm saying? Somebody know about it. But I got some exclusive shit for y'all. Heard it here. You know what it is, man. Let's talk about this card. The Super Fight card. I got the whole card. Leaked the whole card. I'm leaking the whole card right now. I don't give a fuck. First, we're going to go off what we already know. Rum Nitty Hollow. We're going to go straight into it just like that, man. I feel like Hollow is one of the greatest of all time. I'm not going to take that away from him. I will never take that away from him. I think he's one of the most diverse battle rappers. I think he's one of the most complete battle rappers. And I say that to say at one point... He was that. And it makes a difference because now I feel like it's a lot harder to get a hollow round by, these, by, by this URL crowd. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, for real, for real, I'm going to be a thousand with you. I think hollow might get that first round due to nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Because he's back, the welcome back, the comeback. But I got rum 2-1, if not 30. I'm not going to lie to you. Rum knows what he needs to do. And Rum ain't going to come playing with nobody on this planet. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Hollow has kind of got itself high up in the clouds. But I can be completely wrong. Hollow might have transitioned and Hollow might have done his goddamn thing. Does Hollow have the possibility to beat Rum Nitty? You damn right. But I'm going to go a smooth Rum Nitty, 65, 35, you know what I mean, percentage-wise. The next... Battle on the super fight card. Miss Hustle and Coffee Brown. Now, straight off the head, everybody gonna be like, nigga, Miss Hustle. Immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not taking that away because I think I might have Miss Hustle. I think I might. But at the same time, I'm not gonna say that Coffee Brown didn't just show her ass. And you know she did. Versus, I believe it was T Top. And that was possible. That was probably the best coffee round I ever seen. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna be a thousand. Like that was probably the best coffee round I ever seen. And if it wasn't, then it was top two or three. But in the long run, I'm gonna definitely go ahead and give it to Miss Hustle two one. No disrespect to Coffee Brown. Miss Hustle was literally God. You know what I'm saying? Like her E Heart Jazz Misfit is on her way. Goddess, I guess she's. You know what I'm saying? In her own little plane and whatnot. But, yeah, I, I feel like them three, 40, 40 bars, no disrespect to 40. You know what I'm saying? Them three and maybe four, you know what I mean, is uh, them, them pretty God-tier women. So, uh, I don't put too many people past them. Next battle we got is a grudge match. Some shit we was waiting on. Some shit that got canceled. I think twice i'm not sure it might have been just one time t top t top versus swamp mm, 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 mm. that's looking good that looked like it's gonna be a battle oh boy man that third round t top gonna talk to his life boy and I know Swamp going to be prepared for it, so he might come back with this. Man, that's going to be a good battle. Me, personally, I do got T-Top 2-1. No disrespect to Swamp. I just feel like he T-Top got a little more season. He know how to rock that crowd. I think it might be a crowd. If it's not a crowd, it's going to be a you know small congregation like it always is. But um, I do got T-Top 2-1. Swamp might get the first, I believe. I, I, I can say that. Possibly the second. Because he's, he's pretty consistent with his material. But um, that should be a good, damn good battle. Now, this is a battle that I feel like it's going to be, it could be possibly battle of the night. You know what I mean? Uh, just but for the simple fact that we've been seeing this other person go to the stars. You know what I mean? And, um, and we know what this other man can do. Arsenal versus Real Sick. Oh, man, that could be a fucking good battle. Now, the thing about it I'm really worried about is does Arsenal take Real Sick as a serious threat as far as, like, his career and, you know, as far as his 
jersey and you know arsenal damn near put sick on he's the reason that he battles like you know what i mean because arts arse is from uh jersey and he put on a league called ultimate warrior i don't know if y'all know about it but i'm pretty sure that was like six first real come up if not first battle that was the first time i ever paid attention to him or heard of him or anything like that but um i think real sick might show his ass man no disrespect to Ars, but Real Sick has been doing some. Real Sick destroyed the multiverse. Like, you know, like he, he, he killed the multiverse. Like, there's no more multiverses. There's no parallel universe at all. It's gone. Because Mr. Danny Myers is needs some serious redemption due to him. Specifically. That shit was crazy. I don't know if y'all seen that battle or not, but. I ain't never seen Danny look like that. He gave up. Quit. He made him quit. I know he ain't going to do that to Arse. I know he ain't. But at the same time, can Arse out-battle him? Yes. Hell yeah. Can he out-rap him? Probably not. But he can win the battle. But I will give that to Real Sick 2-1 because I don't want to underestimate the new fucking killer. Cause he's a killer. God, he's a killer. But I don't know. It could go either way. I'll call that one. We'll say go either way. But if I had a gun to my head, psh, I'm I'm saying real sick. The next battle should be a decent battle if we can get all the material out like we need to. It should be a good battle if we can get all the material out. It should be a great fucking battle. Cortez versus Ace I mean. If Ace come with his shit, man, we could see a fucking, we could see a classic for real. Because we know Cortez is going to bark on him. He going to talk to him and he going to make him feel like, why are you even here? If you're not here to win, what are you here for? Oh my God, I can see it now, man. I'm going to go ahead and say it now. Fuck that. This going to be my only one I'm going to call probably for the night. Maybe not, but I'm saying Cortez 30. No disrespect to Ace I mean, because I think he rap his fucking ass off. But he can't get through the material. Most of the time, he choke. If he's not worried about something or thinking about something else or don't prepare well, whatever the situation may be, I'm going to go ahead and give that to, uh, I'm going to get that to Cortez 2-1. No, Cortez 30. 30. I'm calling 30. It is what it is. It's a decent card, ain't it? Last battle should be great, should be great, but it's levels to this. And I really feel like this applies in this situation. I really do. Chess versus Kid Chaos. It's gonna be a lot of talking in that one, boy. Somebody going to have to pay attention. Somebody going to really, really, really have to break that one down, man. Because you know Kid Chaos is layers on layers and lyrical ability. And Chess is, I feel like he's one of the best, for real, for real. And he's been a little bit out of the loop. But all that mean is that he's been loading that clip, man. He loading that clip and that clip loaded, ready to go. And motherfucker got a street sweeper. I promise you he do. If he don't, whew, I'm going chess, 2-1, possible 30, possible 30. Like I said, that might have been another 30 out of call, but possible 30, man. I cannot tell you that Kid Chaos got it, what it got what it take to beat chess. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just can't say that. I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that that's going to be a fucking good card. We got some decent fucking battles on that card. Got to wait to see, man. I will be doing a recap, man. I hope y'all tune in. Definitely hit that like button. Subscribe right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. You done? You subscribe? All right, cool. Definitely hit that notification bell, man. I appreciate y'all. You know what it is. Greatest of all time. Got your bitch making my ball shin.